Insect spirits, the creepy crawlies, the most horrible pest in the Shadowrun universe. Ask any Shadowrunner what thing they want to run into least in a dark alley, most of them are gonna say insect spirits. And this is a world where there's banshees, and vampires, and gargoyles, and all kinds of shit. But why? What makes them so horrifying that they keep even the most grizzled of grizzly shamans up at night? Well, let me tell you, it's more than just the ick factor. Insect spirits first appear prominently in the Shadowrun timeline at around 2054-2055. And though at first the UCAS government was trying to keep their existence a secret, it was when they nuked half of Chicago that the proverbial cat was out of the proverbial bag. There are still quite a few metahumans living in Chicago, but they're all holdouts. Nobody, nobody in the Shadowrun universe goes, well, I, I, I wish to uproot my life and move to a different city. Oh yes, I shall move to Chicago because it is such a nice place to, to exist. It, it, that doesn't happen. Insect spirits are different from regular spirits and that they originate not on Earth, but on some distant metaplane. There is a huge variety of metaplanes. Uh, most of them represent aspects of some force or element that exists in our world and can thus be considered part of our world like in the extended sense, the, the cousins of our world. There are also metaplanes that are a bit more out there and generally speaking spirits that reside on the metaplanes not too kosher. The insect metaplanes are really far out there. No mage has ever actually managed to astrally travel to them which is probably a good thing. The only thing that we know about them is that they are immensely overpopulated. And so the queens, or mothers, whatever you want to call them, they sort of call out to shamans on our world. They're the most powerful insect spirits. And then uh, they lure those shamans into accepting them as their totem and mentor spirit. And those shamans do become quite powerful, but contact with these alien minds just makes them go utterly insane. They then go ahead and start abducting people. They put insect spirit larvae into their bodies as spirit summonings. And then eventually those bodies and their souls get consumed and an insect spirit pops out. And just to make this clear, spirits in Shadowrun, if you don't know this, they're not, they're not ghosts. They're like, they're real. They're flesh. You can touch them and they can cut off your hand with their claw. These can be monstrous huge versions of the insect the insect spirit represents which are called true forms, but they can also be metahuman and insect spirit hybrids, which are also incredibly disgusting. Eventually the queens and mothers, they come over from the insect plane metaplanes themselves, and then they just ramp up production and more people get abducted, more the whole proper hive is established, there's a lot more killing, a lot more death. It's really, it's gotten to a point when the queen's there that the situation is getting a little problematic. So they're body snatchers, they're creepy as fuck, and also there's a lot of them. You will run into insect spirits if you play Shadowrun Returns, but they all just kind of look like this. And to be honest, I don't know what that is supposed to be, what kind of insect spirit this is, I have no idea. Because there are different forms of these, different species, and also this is very important to know, is that sp uh, spirits don't have a predefined definitive physical form, they're just spirits at the end of the day, but when they do manifest, uh, even when they are summoned by the same shaman under different circumstances, they can look drastically different from each other. And with insect spirit this goes on on a massive scale, so they're not really insects per se, but the closest equivalent in our world to whatever they are, are these insects. Also very important, uh, the spirit of ant is not the same as ant spirits, and this is very complicated. The spirit of ant, which I don't think is actually a totem that exists in the rules, is just a normal spirit that exists on our world. There's a lot of shamans that are dedicated to spirits that are also insects, like scarab beetles or honeybees, especially in the Middle East. And they're not gonna make you do any cosmic invader bullshit because they're not from the metaplanes, they're from Earth. Still, you probably shouldn't be going around declaring your allegiance to the spirit of the Spanish fly that makes you into a supreme gigolo because people tend to be a little prejudiced when it comes to insect spirits. Spiders obviously uh, also are not insect spirits because spiders are not insects, they are arachnids. And the spirit of spider actually doesn't like insect spirits at all. He in fact hates them. But the thing is that he sort of showed up in our world 
around the same time that the insect spirits did, so they kind of get lumped into the same category. But let's get back to the types. All insect spirits are strictly within the class of Insecta, even though they do take some liberties when they are inside. They're separated into solitary and hive insect spirits, which is a bit confusing because solitary insect spirits are not necessarily alone, they just specialize in being in smaller groups. But don't worry, the fact that their populations aren't gonna snowball rapidly anytime soon is offset by how horrible they are. And also that you often you don't detect them, so your whole- if you're gonna run into random insect spirits without seeking them out, probably it's gonna be solitary insect spirits, because they're a pain in the ass to keep track of. You have beetle spirits, which, like the order Coleoptera, are immensely diverse, because here's a, here's a very important biology fact that I think everyone should know. Half of all animal species on planet Earth are beetles. Beetle spirits are tough, they're really heavily armored, and they'll go underground where it's not too dry, and then build their lairs down there. If you, if you stumble upon one of, them, one of them lairs, one of them areas where they think that it's theirs, they're gonna just kill you instantly for trespassing on their property. They take the NAP very seriously. Cicada spirits can fly, which, to be honest, there's a lot of insect spirits that can fly, so it's, that's really not a very interesting thing to say about them. They are highly migratory and also largely vegetarian, which is good, but except they will actually eat your farm dry because they're huge, and they will still use metahuman bodies for new larvae so new insect spirits can be born. They're also, being cicadas, extremely loud. Not only do they sound like a chainsaw, each one of them is also exactly as loud as a chainsaw. So imagine a bunch of them flying over your house. You couldn't, you couldn't even hear Flight of the Valkyries coming out of your super powerful speaker system. Firefly spirits are pretty chill. They will usually not fight you, except when it is to protect their larvae, which glow because they're fireflies. There's really not a lot to say about them except that they make a cool light show and also fireflies are actually beetles so shouldn't they be beetle spirits? You have your fly spirits which are disgusting because they find like these big garbage type areas and the sewers wherever there's huge tons of refuse you're gonna find fly spirits. Disease and pestilence just kind of follows these guys around. And though they live mostly off carrion, let's be honest, if you can't defend yourself, you probably count as dead enough to be carrion. On the plus side, if you don't explicitly seek them out, probably you're only gonna have to deal with a single fly spirit at a time, which is nice. Mantis spirits are very rare, because they're one order higher up the food chain than all the other insect spirits. That's right, mantis spirits consume other insect spirits for sustenance, and also to use their energy to incubate their new larvae, which also means that for any new mantis spirit to be born on the physical plane on Earth, at least two metahumans need to die, because there needs to be an original insect spirit that has to form, and then also the energy gets sucked out and then the mantis spirits, they incubate a completely new host for a new insect spirit that is then the mantis spirit. They're also super fucking sexist. For them, like, women are god and men are just servants. Slaves! And also, when they do seek out a shaman, which is very rare, of all the insect spirits, they can pretty much, they're very self-sufficient, they don't really need shamans, but when they do seek out shamans, it's always women. Slightly less sexist are the mosquitoes, where the men at least get to be confidants and aides and bodyguards and scouts for the females, because they don't, they don't suck blood, which is also true, only female mosquitoes suck blood in the real world. As you would expect, mosquito spirits drain the life force out of people, though I am 99% certain that they don't actually drink your blood. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a rules lawyering type issue, I suppose but I don't think they need to suck your blood like vampires do, because they do subsist in a way that is similar to the way that vampires subsist. People really hate mosquito spirits, because obviously they do. Mosquitoes are by far the most hated insect in the world already. Roach spirits are nigh indestructible. You can bombard them with physical punishment, horrible living conditions, the current state of scientific publishing, they will soldier through it. 
Their hives are usually very small, which is really convenient because they take a lot of effort to kill. And also they don't like going outside when it's light out, which I have a lot of empathy for. <laughs> now let's talk about the hive spirits, which are usually very stupid and they live in huge colonies controlled by single queens. And also this, this does mean that solitary spirits sometimes have multiple queens and mothers in the same hive. Ant spirits are really numerous, like really numerous. I think they're the most common type of insect spirit that exists. And they build these huge labyrinthian hives underground where uh, people get lost in and also they're strategically easy to defend by just confusing everyone that walks in. If you enter the territory of ant spirits, you best bring a lot of bullets. Because these motherfuckers will send army after army after army at you. You can separate individual ant spirits from the herd and then they get confused and are very easy to kill. However, at the rate at which these things reproduce, it's a bit like pissing while drowning, right? It is helping, but it's not gonna fix the problem. Locust spirits are very much like cicadas, except less vegetarian, in which they will eat anything. And by that I mean anything. They also travel in much, much larger swarms, which it does make them easier to track. But honestly, what the fuck are you gonna do when it says, Hey, by the way, there's a, there's a bunch of locust spirits headed for your town. Okay, thanks, bye! But hey, at least they're not as noisy. Termites are very similar to ants, but also very different at the same time, which is just like it is in the real world. The hives are not quite as big as ant hives, and they are built overground instead of underground, uh, often with uh, this, you know, pre-existing structures incorporated in them because it's convenient. And also they, they do uh, combine all kinds of materials, earth and mortar and whatever, with their spit. Uh, much like real termites do, to construct these, which is quite interesting. Also, where ant spirits have a very uh, flat, uh, everyone is shit, and then there is the queen, which is god, type social structure, uh, termites actually have ranks like the military, which gives them the ability to function better independently, but also isn't as centralized. Wasp spirits are really smart. I mean, the queens are really smart, the average wasp spirit is a fucking idiot. But they will actually engage in espionage, they will learn metahuman behavioural patterns and try to set traps and all that. They're smaller than most insect spirits, but there's also always a whole lot more of them than the usual insect spirit colony. And also they have a big disadvantage in that they build their hives really high up, where they're up in the air, in like abandoned skyscrapers or huge trees, so they're pretty easy to spot, because let's be honest, there's not that many abandoned skyscrapers. Also, wasp spirits do include bees, but they don't make honey, because why would they do that? They're insect spirits, and insect spirits evil? Though to be fair, it would be interesting to have a type of insect spirit that's essentially bees, and then well, what, 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 what would the honey do that they make, right? What, what magical properties would it have? Oh, that's a very in interesting thing that one might explore. These are the official insect spirits that are uh, present in the law and also statted, and I think I have had all of them, I'm not sure. But this doesn't mean that these are all insect spirits that exist. There might be more types that are just not in the, home, in the material. I think there, there's a lot of interesting things that can still be explored in homebrew, like uh, dragonfly spirits. Maybe uh, pond skaters that sort of run across the ocean. Fuck. Silverfish spirit. But except the encounter is set in, in like an abandoned public swimming pool. But all of that is homebrew law territory, which is very dangerous because it's very easy to get that mixed up. But yeah, basically insect spirits are the developers of Shadowrun going, Hey, you know, you know how everyone sort of finds insects disgusting on some level? How about we, we make them huge and also intelligent and also even more disgusting and also invaders from another universe that need human bodies to reproduce. How about we do that? Oh, and did I mention that there are actually insect spirits that look extremely alike to humans and can sort of go undercover in human society? 
Because they exist, and that's spoopy. Now imagine what must be going on on the metaplanes that these insect spirits originate from, because they're definitely running from something. Thank you very much for watching the Shadow and Law video. Uh, I, if you like this, I will definitely do more of them. Do leave your suggestions down in the comments. This is, of course, in addition to my usual content. I also did a Shadow One Law intro video a while back, which I'm going to link at the end of, of this video. So if you are now interested in learning more about the world of Shadowrun, as you have heard uh, this single aspect of it, then please do check that out. Like, comment, subscribe, do the Twitch, if get the Discord. I don't have a Facebook. Google Plus, I don't know, like, this is, isn't Google linked to Google Plus in some capacity? Give money to me on Patreon or make support, whichever platform you prefer, you get cool rewards for that. Uh, which uh, next week, I think, is going to be the very first live stream with the uh, supporters. I'm very excited for it. And that spirit, happy shadow running, happy RPG tabletopping. See you around, cunts.